What is our culture without the people who document it? Gunnar Stahl, 25-year-old photographer out of Atlanta, Georgia, does exactly that. Over the past few years, he's made a name for himself by capturing intimate moments of the culture's most celebrated figures. With a photography style that can be described as raw and a laid-back demeanor, Gunnar has made it his business to be at the right place at the right time and found success by just being himself. first start taking photos? Um, I brought a camera like like my birthday when I was 18. I brought it from my friend actually. We were at this party and he was just telling me like yo I'm selling my camera. I was like um, well I'll buy it. I don't know what made me say that but I used every dollar I had to just buy like this little $300 camera. Mm -hmm. And you had previously never like shot one before at all? Not like an actual camera. I had like I took like the photography class in high school where you make like the cardboard and you like slide up the little oh, thing with the, the light like viewfinder. In. Yeah, I did that, but I failed that class because all of like my pictures just never came out. So what made you say like this is going to be what I want to do, or were you not even thinking that far out at that point? I didn't really get into music until probably like 2000, like 14, like music, also, like, like portraits, yeah. like actual like just one artist. I ended up shooting a uh, Wiz, um, like right when he had, like dyed his hair purple. Oh yeah, like, yeah. The, like a yellow background, and he was just sitting there. I was like, "Yo, can I take some pictures of you?" He's like, "Yeah, of course." Like from that moment, I was like, "Yo, this is what I want to do." So how do you make that jump from like running up on Wiz there to like what you're doing now? When I look at your portfolio, you got everyone from Gambino, Lionel Del Rey, Miley Cyrus, or Kendrick, Kanye. That's a big leap from just like that Wiz one time with the yellow wall. Yeah, it's it is a big leap. Some some of it is just based off like relationships. So when you were like in high school, what did you want to be growing up? I had no idea. That's the thing, my family, my family didn't really know that I took pictures until like last year. Really? Yeah. So what did they think you were doing when you were on the road and all that I stuff? would tell them, I was like, yo, I'm taking pictures. They were like, well, you don't have a job. They honestly probably thought I'd deal drugs because it, they made no sense of how I would always be gone. I, I just had like my own, I could hold my own, so it just, they didn't, it didn't really register with them. It was like, yo, you can actually just take pictures and just, just be good. Uh, what do you shoot with? I shoot with the uh, Fujifilm, the 1600 and the 1400. Yeah, let me get uh, 10 of those. Yeah. And can I get some uh, Portra 400? Portra 400? Mm -hmm. Nah, bro, you gotta get some Fuji. Fuji? Trust me. <laughs> All right, I'll take the recommendation. All right, cool. Yeah. What do you have to do for the rest of your uh, Just more of this film and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Probably go to do a quick shoot with an artist and then yeah, see what we get, you know? So after we cop some film, we slid over to the studio to link with Gunner's friend, Rich the Kid, to do what Gunner does take photos. Why shoot film when you could shoot digital? Well, I shot digital and then my camera broke. It wasn't in like I just randomly made the decision to start shooting film. I think Kanye had like the Yeezus show and I wanted to shoot it, of course, but I had no camera and someone was like, yo, I got a camera for you. And then when I got there, it was like a film camera. I was like, bro, what the fuck am I about to do with this? <laughs> like, I took some pictures that came out trash. Like all of them just came out horrible. I was broke, so I couldn't buy another camera, so I was like, all right, well, I'm just about to just keep running with this. How would you describe your style? Uh, up close and personal. How important is trust between the photographer and the subject? I feel like trust is everything, especially if you're shooting with like a particular subject. You gotta have trust on like both ends. Could you see yourself leaving behind portraits and moving into something different? Yeah, I want to. I'm trying to do fashion and travel photography. So I want to go to Times Square and see a picture I took for like H&M or something like What's been your favorite commissioned work you've done? Probably that Cardi cover. The Cardi cover's crazy. The Cardi cover made me listen to the Cardi album. What's a typical day look like for you? I'll never be home no more because of what I do. I've probably been on road for a whole year of my life, literally living out of hotels for a whole year. Last 24 hours, I stayed in the studio from midnight to 9 a.m. Had to get on a flight to go to Vegas. So I went to Vegas for this electronic festival, and being that it's so hot in Vegas, it doesn't start until like 10 p.m. at night. Yeah. And it goes until the sun comes up. 
which is crazy. I didn't know that. If you're a performer, you have to take a helicopter. The helicopter way? Yeah, the yeah. scariest. Oh my God, bro, so terrifying. I feel like when you sit with these artists, you also gain a lot, right? Like you, you're in the studio with them, you see a lot of things being made that we also enjoy in the culture. These people that we celebrate, you're seeing them have their first X, Y, and Z moment. Can you name a moment that stood out to you that's favorite? A moment that stood out to me as favorite was when Gucci got home and him and Thug reconnected for the first time. It was crazy as hell to watch them two just, just be together because, you know, it's like Thug Idol. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, damn, like, they actually, just to see, like, because I think, like, when Gucci got locked up, Thug was like, yeah, I mean, now he's, he's a megastar. Now he's a, a pop star, so now it's like, so to see that, like, to see Gucci, like, see, like, yo, this is what Thug is now, it's, it's crazy. Mark, when you're around some of these figures, um, it doesn't have to be necessarily these musicians or subjects you're taking, even other photographers, what's the lesson you've picked up just about, like, about being a person? Um, well, really, just all I got from being around certain people is just being yourself. Like, people will like you more if you, like, actually you, and you're not trying to be something else. Are there any photographers out there, past or present, that you're inspired by? Yeah, uh, Chi Moda, really. He took, like, every classic picture in, like, the 90s. He took the Tupac photo, the Mob Deep photo, the album cover, the Shook Ones, the picture of Snoop Dogg outside of yeah, LBC. Yeah. So he took when Big got signed. He took that picture when they had, like, the Big Macs yeah, and all yeah. that. Yeah, he took that picture. Who's turned you down for a photo? Oh, DMX. DMX. Yeah, man. What was that? You just like you you politely asked him. He said, "Had me nah. hot, got me hot, bro." <laughs> <laughs> Who's not living that you wish you could snap? Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse. It's the only person. Amy Winehouse, mm. all the way. I love everything about her. Despite living in the moment, Gunner's already thinking about his legacy, a legacy that, as of right now, includes two books, a magazine cover, album artwork, editorial work, and gallery exhibits. But he's ready for what's next. We're somewhere in the future. People are looking back at your photography, right? Maybe people that don't, aren't familiar with this culture. Mm -hmm. What does your photography say about this time that we're in, about the people that we're seeing, the places that you're at, all of it? I feel like my photography speaks for more like the newer generation of what it, like they're documenting them because um, uh, they just embraced me and let me into like their lives. Like, So I feel like if you go back and look at mine, it's just going to be like, oh, this is the time where this new wave of of people just came and just completely took over. Word. Shout out to babies. <laughs> yeah. All right. Did you have some concern? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see. I just I looked and I saw him with this with his mic. I didn't know like who's baby. Was. <laughs> 